recorded and you can be able to get part of this information and the show notes when you join our email list. We've just sent an email out to everyone on our list literally before we started this amazing clubhouse room. So if you want to be part of this, just click the link in my bio and then visit the Work and Play Entertainment website so that you can now click on the white bar to join the Pinterest and SEO marketing official club where you can be able to get all this exclusive information right into your email. So feel free to join us. We have an amazing community. We've been growing. We're almost at a thousand (laughs) followers. We're almost at a thousand followers on this app, on this club and in this room. And I'm so happy that you guys have been able to be here. And if you want to know more about Pinterest and SEO marketing, there's so much resource for you. Because we're in the weekend, we're in the holiday weekend, I just want to let you guys know as well that you can use the code start now and grab 70% off today. Click the link in my bio and you can grab 70% off of the Pinterest marketing course. And it's going to be there till Monday and it's going to be gone after Monday. So this is the weekend. I really want you guys to be there. I want you to enjoy, be part of this amazing community that is growing on Pinterest and I just want to give back and give you guys something you guys can actually hold on to because when you get into this course, it's going to be yours. You don't have to pay per year. It's one time. And once you do this, you can be able to get all the resources because we update it every time. There are new Pinterest updates. I'm going to tell you some of the updates that have happened in this past week. (laughs) You probably have not seen them or know about them. So we're here to just tell you about how you can be able to grow and how you can be able to use these tools. So the first tool I'm going to go into is this, and this is the first one. And it's also an app that you can use on your phone because it's going to be kind of like a mixture between websites and also apps as well. The first one, I don't know if you've heard of this before, but there's an app that's called Pixel Cut AI, Pixel Cut AI. So if you've not Pixel Cut and I mean, if you have the, the, the store, you can check it right now. It's called Pixel Cut. And what is Pixel Cut? Pixel Cut is a place that you can be able to create your pictures, your videos. You can have really good animations and use your products and display them. This is why when you were putting up your products, if you have actually, before I go any further, because I want to make sure I'm really hitting home by a raise of hands, how many of you have products that you want to sell online or you do have products online that you are selling? By raise of hands, one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay, great. Thank you guys. So this is what you guys will do with Pixel Cut, right? If you have an Apple device, go to your app store and look for Pixel Cut. Pixel Cut is great. And when you look at the budget, when I said in the beginning, your budget, think about how much you want to create. Welcome, Tamara. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. When you think about using Pixel Cut as a product, now the product that you have that's called Pixel Cut, if you take a picture, if it's a white image, if it's in a background, you can remove the background. You can also edify, modify, and enhance the photo. And you can actually put that photo on your product site because on Pinterest, if you didn't know, this is something you can do on Pinterest. And a lot of people don't use this tool at all. They don't. And if you have a clear image, you have the right aspect ratio, a thousand by 1500 pixels. You have a really clear image. You can literally see the image in its clearest form. And you want that to be something you can be able to create value on this is what you want to do this is what you want to do with pixel cut you can be able to create that and build your your funnel by adding content to that pixel cut adding the images adding the whatever you want to put there and then when you create that pixel cut photo and you have the pro version you can you can try it for free and see how it goes for you the pictures that you save this is what is like really the most important part the the app is great yeah but this is the this is why you need it when you download and you upload and then you now create your content and you're able to now save it 
the keyword that you're going to use to save that actual image needs to match the metadata on that photo. For example, if you have a product image and you're taking a picture of pillows, for example, pillows on a white surface or maybe on a bed and you want to just capture the pillows and show that those pillows, maybe they're like white and yellow pillows, for example, just randomly. And now you use those pillows and you have a background and everything, you use pixel cut, make sure that you're able to define everything. And even with pixel cut, you can add text, images, bubbles, all those great things that make products look nice. Because when you're also running advertisements, guys, you have to beat your audience. You have to beat your competition. You have to really have that comparative advantage and use this to your advantage because when you have pictures that stand out, they look clean, they look clear, they look crisp, you can be able to use this and people will lean more to you because first of all, you look clean and people love it when you're crisp and clean, you know, you're, you're smelling good. You know, think about that kind of emotion attachment, emotional attachment that you're creating with this person that has not met you before. So by the time they do meet you and the expectations are so high, you don't want to, you don't want to bring that expectation down because it takes a long time to build trust and it takes half a second, <laughs> less than a second to, to lose it. So you want to make sure that every time the person is seeing your picture, you're using that picture to describe how the experience is going to be when they're on the platform, when they're using this literal search, they're using Pinterest to search for something and they find your picture. It looks so nice. It looks bubbly. It has colors. It's the right format. It has the right text. The file name is having the right keyword. The destination link is sending them right back to Pinterest. And then on Pinterest, there's a section that says product tags. This is now where I'm going to before I go to the second point. There's a section that says product tags, right? When you upload an image, try this not on your phone because phone and laptop, desktop, Pinterest experience is completely different, completely different. So just like any other, but there's some tools you can't use in between those. So you have to really be sure of what you're doing. So when you now use your laptop and use your desktop and you're uploading this image, there's a section that says product tag. So when you tag your product, you can tag a link. So let's say you don't have the shop. Let's say you don't have the Pinterest shop yet and you're trying to create the shop, but you have a website, you have a Shopify account and you want to connect that picture or that, that product to that image you have on Pinterest that's going to lead them to that same destination. You can add the link and that link will also have the, the keyword. We talk about SEO as well. The keyword right after your domain should have the product image that has the file name that has the keyword that describes the image, if that makes sense. So when you use pixel cut, you're creating content that's going to last. You're creating content that's going to stand out and you're going to have content that's going to really have a pattern disrupt. That's what you want to do. So use pixel cut. The second thing that I want you to know about is Ecamm, E-C-A-M-M, -M. and perfect timing, <laughs> Crystal is here, <laughs> thank you so much for being here, uh, I talked to, I'm talking about seven marketing tools and apps to scale your business, and I wanted to do 10, but I was like, let me do seven, because I just released an article about Pinterest marketing. If you click the link in our bio, in my bio, either on Twitter and Instagram, you'll be able to see the article on the official website. And when you see the article about Pinterest marketing and the article before, I'm going to be posting something later today showing my analytics for, for just my Google analytics to show you how using keywords makes your content rank on organic search without you having to pay much for and focusing on your content and, and your digital marketing strategy. So we talked about pixel cut. I'm now talking about Ecamm and why I was mentioning Crystal is because we were live on LinkedIn yesterday with Suman, who is also an amazing Pinterest expert. And we both, we all of us went live on LinkedIn and you can check out LinkedIn as well to see more. And we were talking about the Pinterest and SEO Marketing Summit, which is happening this month on the 20th and the 21st. We have the masterclass happening on the 13th and the 14th. So we were talking more about the summit and what people need to expect and how they can get there. 
and it's all available in all the links available to you now and you can easily sign up and just have that direct contact with us because even after we're done with the masterclass, after we're done with the summit, there's a specific group that we're going to add you to that we can stay in contact with you consistently on Instagram. And we can also stay consistently with you through calls. So it's going to be an amazing experience. We really want to help you guys grow because we keep hearing the same questions on Clubhouse and we're like, Are we, is anybody doing anything with these answers? <laughs> so we need to really make sense. We really need to move the needle. We really need to make this happen. And I want you all to be a part of the success. That's why this is a summit. We did two free workshops and they were both successful they were both sold out and i was like wow okay people are really interested in this so i took time to really bring this back in a way that it's not just about me it's about you it's everything about your business it's everything about your future if you can be on pinterest today by 2040 you can be able to take advantage of the 95 percent of sales that's going to be going through e-commerce that's a statistic that you can go google so the more you're able to realize that about 2.14 billion digital buyers are literally living right now out of 7 billion, <laughs> you will know that being online is, is not a joke. I'm looking at my website and I can see literally across the whole map. My website has probably touched across all the way to India and I still get traffic from India. I've never done an ad to India. Never. So and they're second place <laughs> and they're also ranking first in other places so when you think about the people you're connecting with both online offline you don't know where they are you're building a story you're building a, a brand so when you're building a brand people need to see you right they need to you need to come correct so when i'm saying it pixel cut pixel cut works for that reason the second thing is ecamm ecamm is this ecamm is pretty much like Streamyard. If you've been on StreamYard before, I've been on StreamYard. I love it. it that's, that was my first go. And I found another one called Riverside.fm. And it's good, but I was like, oh, it's a little too techy. I, I, I want to do it, but I don't really have the time to do that. So I now went to Ecamm, which is even more <laughs> techy, but it's actually way easier. You pretty much have like a glass house on your screen. That's how it looks like. It's like a glass house. You have all the attachments. If you're doing a keynote presentation, you don't even have to like do a whole presentation on your keynote. Just use the animation tools and you can also have like sounds. If you want to do like horns, if you want to do like ting effects, you know, like all those great, nice stuff that people like to do, it, which makes it even better. Not everyone uses them, but when it's done, you can feel good about it. And you don't like it's depending on your business, depending on your content, depending on what you want to do. For me, I, I use music because I'm a musician first, you know, so that's how I'm able to really connect and, and build audiences around. So when you're using Ecamm, Ecamm Live, StreamYard, you have to be on a browser, right? For Ecamm, you have to download it to your laptop. It has to be like a software. So you download Ecamm Live, and when you download it, that's how I ended up on LinkedIn Live too, because I've been signing up for LinkedIn Live for the past two years. <laughs> and every time I do it, they don't respond. And one day I got an email saying, hey, welcome to LinkedIn Live. And I was like, what, me? You know, and I've always been on LinkedIn Live for the longest, and I've not really used it. And now that I'm getting back into it, it's really showing me how much I've missed out <laughs> and I'm trying to gain a lot of time back and you never, you can't get time back. So I'm really trying to hope I can be able to connect with more people there and also here because on my website, it showed me LinkedIn is third place as far as traffic. And it's great to see the fact that my data is telling me what I'm thinking and I'm able to translate that into what I'm doing. So guys use Ecamm live. It's going to help you. Number three, this is one course this is in the Pinterest marketing course. And I decided to tell you about this today. So if you're in this room, I'm so happy you guys are here because I don't talk about this. Only one or two people know about this um, particular. I don't hear this. You know, everyone says ask the public. Everyone says, yeah, there are some apps that I don't hear on this app at all. And this is a platform you can be able to use. It's in the Pinterest marketing course. And I, I show you exactly how to use it. It's called phrase, not the word phrase. It's called phrase i'll spell it out for you f r a s e so when you go to phrase phrase.io 
this is SEO that you're going to use in 2030. That's they've changed their landing page. <laughs> I wish I took a screenshot when it first came up because they've they've really built their business. But I, I I saw them when they were really starting. Not a lot of people knew about it. So and, and a lot of people still don't know about it right now. So when you use phrase, you literally know your competition. Think about a blog. Now, when you're writing content online. You're thinking about, oh, I got to write 2,000 words. Oh, I got to write 1,500 words. There are some big news articles, new big publications that when you see their article, it's 500 words. You're wondering why. And they're still ranking. You know, look at amazing people like Seth Godin. You know, those are people that we look up to that are really, you know, doing monumental things for us, you know, and paving the way. So when you look at how they're building their content, it's not about how long it is. It's not about how long the content is, like pictures, videos. Those things are great. But when you put them in context to your strategy and you know why you're competing and you know that like eight other articles talking about the same thing, that's how you can take dominance and also build your authority. Now, people think that when you're now building content online, you have to take your time and build this content once a week. I the, the only article I did in June <laughs> is still ranking today. I only did one article in June. I was like, let me test this theory and see what's going on. I literally planned the article for three weeks, did my research, posted it. Now it's picking up on Google rankings as one and two on how to play music on Clubhouse, how to stream music on Clubhouse. And I thought it was a joke. <laughs> and I did a second article to back it up because when you have internal backlinks, with the same content because you're a business and you're building content strategies and actually building content marketing for your your business as a whole you start to realize that the content you start to produce starts to get better it starts to get more refined it starts to get more intuitive you can start to see oh there are other people who are talking about this thing you're thinking about all these things and you have to create value over time so make sure that you're using phrase.io and when you use it <laughs> Please make sure that you are using it sparingly. <laughs> this is why I'm saying this because some people will go gaga when they see what's going on in there. And in case you didn't know, they are rated number one AI software by Captera. That's on their website. <laughs> so please use it sparingly because on the Pinterest marketing course, I go deep. I tell you how the AI goes. There are some, pro I don't even want to go deep right now. Just look at their website and sign up or join us in the Pinterest marketing course. We have 70% off all through the holiday weekend. So click the link in my bio to sign up today. The code is start now, all in caps, one word. Make sure you're able to tap in before Monday because by Monday, you guys will not see that thing. I'm, I'm telling you, you will not see that link by Monday by Monday night. So make sure you're able to tap in and get it. And then let me know because we're going to get on a call as soon as that happens. And we're going to really set you straight so that you know exactly what you need to do for your business. So yeah, use phrase. The How many have I done? There's pixel cut, there's ecam, there's phrase. I got three more. I got four more to go. The fourth one, I talked about this in the workshop. And I'm just bringing a few of the highlights from some of the other places that we've been on, like the Clubhouse, the podcast. We've been on different platforms and I just wanted to also show this one as well to you. And it's called What's My SERP? Now, what's my SERP? What is that? <laughs> what is What's My SERP? What's My SERP is a rank tracker. And when I, when I, this is why I'm, I'm using phrase because they got to work together. Don't think you don't need the other one. You need each other. Like we need each other. Like we need each other right now. I wouldn't be on this stage staying here if it wasn't for you guys. So I really appreciate your time, you know, spending on a Saturday. It's a holiday weekend and I'm so happy that you guys are able to be here. Thank you so much for your precious time that you're spending with me. We're going to be here for the next 30 minutes. So at the top of the hour, I'm going to open up the hand raising again and you guys can be able to ask me any questions. So I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm running through this quickly, especially the next four, which are not too long. I just want to focus on the first four and then the other three you can use as well. What's my SERP is a rank tracker. And then we talked about phrase. Phrase is where you're able to build your content, is where you're able to know how your competition is doing. Literally, you can search for easy home furniture best ideas. 
and you're going to get like five articles in your street, in your zip code, in your region. And then you're going to see the articles that are popping up. And then you're going to notice, oh, okay, they're not talking about this. They're not talking about that. They're not talking about this. Okay, let me talk about this. And then build their content as the authority and then send people to their website as a backlink. That's the whole point. You're not using their content to, you know, like plagiarize their content. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how do you build a, it's like building a thesis. It's like building a, a story, but this, the thesis has to be very like fifth grade, sixth grade, understandable that somebody that has never understood this should be able to understand. And that's why articles and blogs are there to make it simple. So you need to think about this. And the next app I'm going to tell you about is how you can be able to do that. So what's my SERP is a rank tracker and it's a SERP tracker. So you can powerfully rank and track completely for free automatic updates. And it tells you exactly what you're ranking for. It gives you the position. It tells you, is it ranking on a mobile device? Is it ranking on a tablet? Is it ranking on a computer desktop? What are the rankings from one to three, from four to 10? you can decide and then think about this even though you're ranking just like the way stocks go up and down your SERP could go up and down so don't think you're going to be ranking number one and just sit back and relax and, and go have some nice you know a, a margarita on the beach don't don't think about that make sure that when you rank first and your google search console and i'm going to go into that soon that's i save that for last when you think about your your ranking you want to make sure that your the api your SERP, your search engine ranking page, which is a web page on your domain on your website, is ranking on both desktop and mobile for two reasons. Because you want to rank and have good bounce rates. Like, think about bounce rates. One of our clients, I was so happy to see this, and we started, their bounce rate was 70%, I think 72.8%. They deal with natural hair, the natural hair care oil business here in Atlanta, and they're doing so well. When we met, they had about yeah, that's seven two point eight. Right now, they have about three point four, three yeah, about three point four bounce rate. That has gone all. It's, it's really gone down, which is like perfect for us because now they've just literally hit a thousand subscribers after three years because they didn't know what was going on on the other side of their network. So. When you're building a digital marketing blueprint, I started off with your pictures, your pixel cut. Make sure you have that in store. If you want to go on video, use Ecamm. Make sure you're able to use Ecamm well. And then the next thing you have to do about that is when you create that, go to phrase, build content about your product. Know what are people talking about? What are the best outfits to use? Maybe you can say top outfits to wear this summer in your, in your city. And then you can probably tag other competitors and support them because it's about supporting each other support them put their rankings do backlinks that's going to credit you and then there's something also called do not follow now i think google just released a press release not too long ago talking about how that do not follow button like when you're doing a blog sometimes it says like do not follow uh, sometimes when you click on it you don't know whether it's gonna not follow or not but now they said that even if you click do not follow they will still rank you if they need to rank you based on the content you have as far your as far your performance so make sure you're able to do that correctly and then when you do that correctly you can start to have better and better images to work through now the next thing i want to tell you is this we've talked about phrase we've talked about pixel cut we've talked about ecamm we've talked about what's my serp those are four the fifth one is compressor.io compressor.io it's a free website if you've never heard of it take your notes i, I was telling you guys you should you take just you guys have to take your notes today because i'm not coming back here to talk about this again because it's going to be available for you on the podcast so you can listen to it or just join the mailing list so you can get our exclusive feedback and some people would be able to use this later. you may not use this now you may not need this now but one day you're going to look for something that's going to lead you back to this so just Take your time and just relax. No pressure. No pressure at all. So use Compressor.io. And what does Compressor.io do? Compressor.io takes your picture and shrinks your picture. I know sometimes, some like some people, how do I put this? Some people, um, let me, let me see. Let me put it this way. When you have a photo and you take it on a laptop, when you take it on a, on a, 
what do you call it like a, a DSLR yes I don't know why I'm thinking so hard <laughs> DSLR so when you think about a DSLR and you're trying to compress your photos you're thinking about about 15 megabytes that's a lot of space for a website <laughs> if you want to upload your images there you don't want to do that because your bounce rate is going to go back up your rankings are going to go all the way down and then your website is going to be performing badly because it's loading slowly because it got to boot up it got a buffer so you don't want to do that so when you go to compressor.io what you're doing is that you're optimizing your jpeg your png files your svg files your gifs as well and your web pages and then you can compress it to a lossy format you're going to get three types lossy lossless and custom use the lossy format and you can you can you, there's a reason why when you use lossy format it's a huge save because there's no visible quality loss because you also want to keep the same quality but it's perfect for web images that's why they compress it in a lossy format you can use a lossless format but it's a smallest file reduction there's really no loss in quality but it's recommended if you want to have like high res photographs and just look at the recommendations because I don't know what you guys will be using this for. So I'm just giving you all the details. <laughs> so use compressor.io, use pixel cut, use phrase.io, use ecamm live. And we went live as well. Suman, thank you so much for being here. Suman is also part of the amazing summit as well. She, 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 Crystal, <laughs> Suman, Crystal, and I were on LinkedIn Live yesterday. And we talked about the Princeton SEO Marketing Summit. So make sure you're able to go in there and know more about it. We literally got a week to go, seven days to go. By in the next seven days, it's going to be out. Like that's when we're closing out the date. So make sure that you're able to tap in and ask us, DM us any questions so we can be able to help you because this is free information for y'all. And I really want to help and I want to serve you guys and, and give you something that you can do. I didn't even think about this room till yesterday. I said, what can I do? For the weekend and just connect with you guys again because this club is growing it's really really growing and i need to connect with you guys like i can't leave you guys alone i need to be here so i'm really really taking my time to dedicate and help where i can so use compressor.io i'm going to go back again for the people who have you know just come in again so that you guys know about this and i'm going to go really quickly because we're almost done first one pixel cut second one ecamm third one phrase Fourth one, what's my SERP? Fifth one, compressor.io. Sixth one, veed. Veed.io. What is veed? If you have a podcast, if you have a, it's like headliner, but if you have a podcast, if you have audio images, audio graphs, videos, and you want to just literally upload your image, auto subscribe, not auto subscribe, auto transcribe your, your video, put your bubbles, put everything you want to put in there, export and download there you go that's vid for you i've used headliner and i love headline because as a, as a podcaster it literally gives me every episode and it gives me its own transcript so in its own video format but vid literally takes a cake for me because it's faster and i really i'm going in there to know what I'm, I'm doing there so you can do that the last one is this guys this is the last one and i hope you guys are taking notes your google search console insights now before i go any further i want to and we have some people on stage so i'm gonna you know bring you guys up on stage so we can talk a little bit really quickly before i before i get to you germ i want let me let me turn off the hand raising and then turn it back on so i can reset it really quickly okay then here we go back open so by a show of hands because this is why i'm if i ask, answer this question or do do what i'm supposed to do right now by a show of hands how many of you have a website okay jeremy two so one two two one two three four five Five. Okay, five. Awesome. This is what you guys need. Google Search Console Insights. And you can also check out my Instagram Reel. I talked about it. So if you want to have like a visual um, description, you can check it out and see. 
that gives you precise data. And when we talk about content, you don't want to build content and burn out. You want to know where your data is going, how it's coming back to you, and how you can build from that data to pivot into your next month. So each month, Google literally sends you an email with your insights. It sends you a dashboard report and tells you, here's where you went wrong, here's where you went right, here were your top performing posts, here were the social networks that you were ranking the most. For me, Pinterest did way better than Google. I don't know how that happened, but I think it's because I was really intentional on staying on Pinterest. So I've been on Pinterest and I'm getting more traffic on Pinterest than I'm getting on Google. When, when Green Room came out first day, I was in Green Room and I took a screenshot, linked it back to the Green Room um, Spotify link and had a caption in there, made sure it was keyword searching. And right now it's, it's pretty much top five. <laughs> it's top five of my, and someone just liked a comment on Pinterest as I'm speaking. <laughs> so I don't know which comment it is, but you are thinking about connecting with people on Pinterest and your Google search, because when people find you on Google and they find your Pinterest, they kind of ease and they kind of like you better because it's leading to a website that is hosted by someone that is trusted. You don't want to buy from a, a, a not trusted website either. So make sure you guys are able to tap into that and get your Google search console insights. It's, it's available to everyone. If you have your website, you should have Google analytics and you should have Google search console con um, connected to your website. Cause when you have console, Google is just going to give you a little orange bar and tell you, Hey, open up your Google search console insights to see what's going on later today. I'm going to be posting on my Instagram to show how it looks like so you can actually see it. So I'm glad you guys were able to be here. If you have any questions, please raise your hands. We're going to bring you up and we're going to have the next few minutes together. I'm done with all the points and you guys can also listen to the podcast once this is done so that you guys, you know, can take your notes and listen back for a replay in case you missed any of them. So I just want to start off with you, Jerome. Thank you so much for being here. I know we've been meeting in and out of Clubhouse. It's a pleasure to have you today. How are you? I'm good, boss. It's Jeremy. Pronounced Jeremy. I'm so good. Jeremy. I'm sorry. I, I no apologize. Problem. Jeremy, my bad. No problem, boss. I, I, I love the topic of the room. And as a content writer, I definitely come across a lot of apps that can be used for marketing. Uh, the one that I'm really taking advantage of now is uh, conversion.ai, which is a, it's a, uh, it's a software um, for content and copywriters. Uh, and I believe it's you'd be utilized for all business owners, but the thing is a lot of business owners aren't purebred writers. And so when you're developing or utilizing AI software as a writer, you have to be careful because while this app is utilized to automate your words, a lot of people think that it's utilized to make everything you say seem correct and understandable for anyone to perceive and that's incorrect i can even right now i'm writing a blog that would normally take me an hour and a half to write that will be converted into a video later today but now it's taking me literally 30 to 15 minutes to write this blog and now instead of writing two blogs a week i'm writing every day and there's videos being dropped maybe three times a, a week with my team so it allows me to not only automate my time automate my words but automate my systems and so uh, when you're talking about marketing tips that actually work these tools are scaling your business by scaling your network the more eyes and attention you have on your podcast your video your instagram your, your voice your words anything that you say do or how you act and react is bringing attention to your brand so when you use apps like conversion ai or uh, Pinterest or even Medium, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, whatever the case might be. Everything starts with words and what you say. Words come out your mouth. You think about thoughts that turn into words. And a lot of people undervalue words because they don't know how to utilize them. I like there's so much power in what you write that it's it's it's, it's crazy. So I definitely believe that this app right here is going to change the world, but it's all about how people utilize it because I can send this, I can send content out to anyone in the listening lounge right now. I guarantee you they can use it as a script for their video, their podcast, their Instagram, their their email, anything. But it's just all about how you format that and it'll make the, their lives 10 times easier. So this one app is gonna allow me to scale one, one, 
the mention of my business. And you've been dropping some great gems on the stage, man. I just wanted to let you know, come up here, give you uh, your uh, your uh, your flowers, as as the the saying goes. But also say, man, definitely you got to collaborate on a Pinterest uh, type of vibe. I don't really know the platform like that, but a lot of people have been asking me to uh, streamline their visual aids into written text. So I'm, I'm super excited to work with someone that speaks a lot about it. This is Jeremy, and I'm complete. Thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate you for coming because I definitely understand and know how important copy is. Some people don't even know what to type. They don't know what to write. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to think. They don't even know what is going on. So this is something that can really advance your time and, and really split it in half so you can be able to enjoy yourself. I'm looking at boss mode. What is that? Are you, ref- are you talking to me? Yeah, I just saw, I just went in there. I've, I've seen this before, but now I'm seeing something new. It's called boss mode. What type of software is it? Boss mode, like? No, like it's still on conversion AI. Okay, okay. So I'm on the app right now. I'm actually using conversion AI to write my uh, blog for Medium, and then it'll be on LinkedIn. But uh, I, I'm, I'm testing out the app right now before I purchase it next month. Um, but what i utilize is simple and straight to the point because i know how to actually uh articulate my words and you don't have to take it from platform to platform so i go in in the mornings create a blog that blog then i repurpose it for an article and i pull out inserts from that article take it to instagram and then i tweet it out then i post it on for, for my facebook group so right there i'm hitting like five platforms in just one 30 minute segment so a lot of people want to know how to do that but like you just said that they don't know why or, or where to start so um i don't necessarily know what boss mode is i use like the simplest tools in uh in jarvis because it's called jarvis but it's but the link is called conversion.ai but uh definitely looking forward to to exploring it at least twice a day in july and just building rapport with a lot of genuine creators bro you blow my mind right now because i literally checked it and because I've, I've, I also use Copy AI, and now that I'm seeing Conversion AI too, I'm now looking at it, and it's telling me that the boss mode is a perfect fit for entrepreneurs, SEO, and content writers, and agencies. And the SEO part of it is talking about producing high quality and original content that Google loves. You want to write content that Google loves, and you can also have it in a gradable source. So when you think about writing content, it has to be as simple as possible that a fifth grader, a third grader could read it and understand and actually digest that information just like you would. So those are things that you have to think about when you're creating content and SEO. It's not about how hard or how long, it's about how qualitative that analysis in the context of your product is. So please make sure you guys are checking that out. Thank you so much for this tip. That's a bonus for you guys. <laughs> That's a big bonus hey, for you guys. Hey, Crystal. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, welcome. I just wanted to jump in on a couple of things. So first of all, um, there's actually a feature um, at conversion.ai with Jarvis where you can write at a certain grade level, which is really cool. So it's like, um, you know, you can put it at the fifth grade level, the eighth grade level, or, you know, 12th grade level, whatever. So um, if you know that this is the type of writing that you want to do, or you want a fifth grader to be able to understand it, it will actually put it like that. but I wanted to let you know, I have the $20 a month um, version, and I'm actually going to do a room on this next year, or next week. <laughs> I was going to say next year. I was going to say, we got to collaborate. We, yeah, we I, collaborate. Just, I send yeah. you a DM. Yeah. I do rooms um, five days a week on, on just writing for different platforms. And this literally has transcended how I'm literally going to get into my bag. My course is already coming out in August. So, like, this is going to be at the, the tip of the iceberg and the foundation. I look through your bio, Crystal. I, I don't follow people until words stand out. And which the statement you just said blew my mind, like, about setting it two different ways. So, like, I'm going to DM you and follow you on all platforms. Yeah, well, thanks, Jeremy. Um, what I'm using it for is because Faber has taught me so much about SEO. So the last six months, he's taught me about SEO and my mind just exploded, you know, and I realized my content on my website is the most important thing. Like social media, 
everywhere else on the internet. Yes, it will hopefully drive people to my website to make a purchase. But I realized I had a lot to clean up just in my own house, you know. So this tool is so helpful because what I'm doing, I have a combination on my Shopify store of um, an app called Plugin SEO that I'm using to just kind of assess every page on my actual Shopify website. And then I'm using Jarvis to help me either rewrite content or, um, you know, uh, create content and make better meta descriptions. I've had a lot of duplicate meta descriptions. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, favor, um, when Jeremy was talking about um, boss mode and you were looking at boss mode, that is a, it's a lot more expensive. It's like hundred and twenty dollars a month. Um, so you know, yes, you do get more features, but I would play around with just the twenty dollar a month version because that's what I'm using right now. And I'm getting like so much value because like Jeremy says, it's not a replacement for copywriters, but especially if you're a solopreneur and you don't have a lot of time to generate this level of content, it can help you create faster, you know, and it can help you, you know, create what Google wants and the meta descriptions and all this extra technical SEO type stuff. Um, it's very helpful for me to create that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Here's here's one more jump that I want to say, and, and this is why I love people like Crystal. So Crystal just dropped a, a great jump because it's not a replacement for me, but what it enables me to do is become an editor instead of a writer. So now when I put my content in uh, uh, AI software, I already have a team. They've been, they've been begging me to use AI. I just don't believe in it because I'm a pure bird writer. But now I'm able to edit and turn an hour and a half of writing into 15 to 30 minutes because I'm also a graduate student that has been studying writing and composition for 10 years. I'm about to get my master's degree in writing, rhetoric, and technical communication. When I can do this, I enable myself to get back to the passion of writing. So I want to say this to everyone in the listening lounge. I'm actually stepping back from business and getting back to branding. I want to offer everyone the opportunity to join like Facebook groups of mine where I actually give them templates that I automate for them through conversion.ai because like Crystal said a lot of people are going to misuse the the, the, the software and and you take advantage of the boss the boss mode or the, whatever it's called but, but not even the right a template I'm going in right now and I'm utilizing the blog the blog aspect of conversion.ai I haven't even touched anything else and I've not purpose concept of platforms. So when I get the master of the platform, you get assistant with the also the assist creates your short form content into long form content. A lot of people don't even know the difference between those two. Like so I can it's so many aspects that this this uh, app is gonna tap into that's gonna change people's lives. Like even uh, even so many people that use Pinterest right now, they're they're famous instant that can be utilized for your images and then you take that to youtube and explain it like uh, i was just explaining to my sister because i'm on vacation right now i was explaining to my sister this morning that like youtube is changing the game and i'm like literally writing a, a blog right now on video description so like this app like if you want to if you want to know like I'm, I'm about to write a, 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 a matter of fact the lead magnet too this afternoon or this evening on it and i'm gonna send it to my email marketer because this is it's like i know for a fact that once i write content like this and just give it out to the world like it's going to come back tenfold because i have so much so many gems on it and that it's it's been crazy so yeah definitely tap into favor and crystal because they know what they're talking about appreciate you guys you guys have really dropped gems today and this is the whole point of being on clubhouse at the right time because you never know what's going to happen, especially when you're really focused on what you're focusing on. And I love the fact that, you know, this is something that you guys can take advantage of and tap in real quick because I'm looking at it from what you guys said. And it's about 20,000 words. And that already tells me that's approximately about two blogs, two strong blogs a week, if you can do that. And when you're thinking about those words, like, like, you know, when you're thinking about short form content, long form content, those things take a while. They take a while to build. But when you're using this and you're also using the, the content, especially with images and videos, guys, don't forget those two. Because Pinterest is all about 
videos it's all about images we also think about youtube it's all about youtube videos there's audio in there like you have to think about transcribing content because we're speaking we're saying things we have order we have all these things that we have available to you so there's no excuse for you not to have great quality content because the fact that your your bounce rate is high means that you have bad content if we can be able to take a client's con um, bounce rate from 72 percent to three percent you know exactly that it creates content over time and of course your time is valuable so please make sure you're able to tap in so you can be able to be part of this success before i um get to suman and just make i just want to tell you guys that i'm really happy you guys were able to make it here today i really appreciate your time in case you're coming in right now and you're not sure what is going on or how many tips there were or what the seven marketing tools are make sure that you're able to subscribe to the we don't play podcast because this is going to be uploaded later today and if you want to join our amazing mailing list for the printers and seo marketing club just click the link in my bio and visit our official website so you can be able to tap in on the white section that you'll see pinterest and seo marketing fill in your details and we can be able to give this info to you because i'm going to send this out back to everyone there's an email i sent out an email to the list before i got on here and i'm so glad that we're able to be here and look at the impact think about the the ripple effect you don't know what you're doing online until you start doing something right so please make sure you guys are able to tap in there's so much that we're going to be here for you in the pinterest and seo marketing club we have a summit we have a masterclass that's coming up this month on the 13th the 14th the 20th and the 21st read the details in my bio in my clubhouse bio click the link in my bio to also get it this weekend as well, we have an exclusive deal because it's a holiday weekend and we want you guys to get your Pinterest right. So there's about 70% off that you can be able to get right now if you click the link in my bio and grab it because by Monday, it's going to be gone. And I really want you guys to make sure that your Pinterest is, is working right because we come on Clubhouse every week. We answer the same questions. We answer some different questions, but we want to make sure that these questions that we're answering is what you're applying. There are some people that come back and say, hey, we did this and I'm happy to see that. Some people, they'll just get the information and run with it. So please, we're, we're here to really help you and make sure that you can be able to build your content, build your brand, because when your brand stands out, it's going to stand out for real. Like look at my, my clubhouse profile picture. Someone just noticed the other day when I sent her, I sent her an amazing package just to say thank you. And she didn't realize because I didn't talk about it. I was talking about my merch because we're bringing our merch here. And he's like, oh, favor. I didn't know the whole time that the logo that's on your hoodie, the purple hoodie is your logo. I didn't know that. And I was like, yeah, it's been there the whole time. So um, I'm not I, when you think about branding, it goes beyond it, it goes. It's a character. It's a build up and it takes time. So make sure you guys are able to understand that these tools are going to help you scale. And now that we're in Q3, make sure that your Q4 is great too, because these things can really help you to scale and make sure your 2022 is a great success as well. Thank you, Suman, for being here. How are you? Thank you, Favor, for hosting this room. I'm just in a holiday mode of the weekend, but I just saw you and I, I just came here to support you. But again, when Crystal and uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I don't want to do that. But so. Well, so you you guys were talking about Jarvis and I, yesterday I just got into that and I was just checking about this particular tool. So I just was excited, like how was your, um, uh, I believe, what Crystal was talking about. I was resonating with that, right? So you can also have this free, like seven days trial, which you can test and use and see for 10,000 words, right? I'm just into that and probably what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm coming up with some of the variations what they're doing in right so so most of them they struggle with uh pinterest descriptions also right so probably they can use this particular tool to write few things so however uh, it, it definitely helps us to um i would say is uh, it reduces our time right so we can utilize that particular tool to focus on uh putting our content right in the pinterest so that we can get good results and yes i'm here to support you favor and crystal over to you 
Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate you. And I also thank you as well for being there yesterday on our LinkedIn Live. It was amazing with Crystal as well. You know, we were on Clubhouse at the same time. So really, when we think about an omni-channel experience, this is what we're talking about. People need to take action. When you take action, that's when you start to see results. So I'm so glad that we're able to do this together. Hey, Jessamay, thank you so much for being here. How are you? Hi, um, thank you so much. I'm really conscious about joining the room because my neighbors are really um, noisy right now. They're having kind of birthday party and I don't have a, a quiet room. So are you hearing any uh, background noises right now? It's clear. We can hear it a little bit, but we can hear you clearly. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, I don't have any questions because everything here for me is like new. And since I found Suman, Crystal, and you are here on clubhouse and i've been i i think you can see that i've been joining your your rooms like almost every day and i'm trying to make sure that i record and i take note every details that you guys are talking about to that i can apply those things on my business and on my on my um what you call this on my website as well and for Jar jarvis right that was the the app that you that you're talking about earlier um i also saw that one that rachel Pedersen um advertised or like talked about that on her group and i i happen to be one of the members there and that's when i saw and i checked when jeremy mentioned the the prices and i see and also crystal mentioned that she has like the 29 dollar which is, I think, would also be a fit for me because I'm starting my blog, and I, I think for for me, I really need to to do my, you know, the the copywriting thing. Though I have I have um like a good amount of or like the bounce rate that I have right now is quite good, but I think I still need to up my my website. That's all. I would love to know more about how your website is right now. Could you give me the, 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 the name of your website so I can check it for you real quickly? Sure. Uh, my website is like not that fancy though, but it's called Pin Your Blog. I do most about uh, Pinterest and social media. Okay, it's pinyourblog.com. Yes. Can I, can I say something about her Instagram account before you even get you? website because that's going gonna, it's gonna to complement each other real well so your instagram account is phenomenal like before anyone taps into your website they're going to look at your instagram account and they're so before favorite favorite goes into your website your pinterest is almost like a puzzle and if you look at mine it's like the same way i get most of my traffic because people want to know who designed my website or my instagram account Start thinking about your Instagram account as a portfolio leading to a segue to your website. Most people don't even need websites. Like I work with a millionaire today that's having me write a like a ebook for her. And in her in her ebook, she's saying that landing pages and websites are dead. She's literally I, I because I can't get too much into the gems that she's dropping in her ebooks, I'm like mind blown by what she's saying and like why she's a millionaire. I'm feeling like, yo, if this is how you are making money, then I'm doing everything the wrong way. But like utilize your Instagram account for the design. And the design that you have on that is phenomenal. So um, that's what I just wanted to say before favor drops those gems. But yeah, uh I love I love your handle too. Pin your blog. I was I was gonna DM you because of that too. Pin your blog I write and Pinterest is something that's gonna be interesting as well. So yeah, for sure. Keep going what you're doing and it's definitely gonna to continue to grow. But uh yeah, that's all I want to say. Favor over to you. Yeah, definitely. I'm glad that that was brought up and you were able to like even bring that out to everyone too because people don't think about their Instagrams as well. Like you focus much on your Instagram now that it actually has a brand color. Like you actually have a hue, you have a you have a tone and when you think about branding, you have to think about the tone in speech, in writing, in in thought, in in processing. It's, it's, it's a lot. So when you're branding, it, it takes a while. And the fact that you've already established those areas that are important to you is great. For your 
website there's some things that we'll definitely want to like put together because like right now i'm seeing let me actually say this before i i put this down whenever you have a website because 3.5 billion people are searching on google on a consistent basis when you have a website that is indexed which means you have it on search console which i talked about and you also have it on google analytics where you're able to track your performance and also understand where your audience is where they are what they're clicking on what's the watch time rate and you also have supported things like youtube and pinterest as well whenever you have a title even think about pinterest pinterest the block like the very first thing that's in bold the reason why it's in bold is because it's a h1 tag it's a heading one tag and a heading one tag is what determines how well your indexing is going to go because with your indexing as a h1 tag it's going to index your website right and indexing your website is just an, another name of scanning your website so when it scans your website and it, and it finds great audio maybe great videos maybe you've embedded a youtube that has great seo you've embedded a pinterest that has great seo those are considered as backlinks and then that bold word is a h1 tag and when you don't have a h1 tag it kind of like you're kind of letting the index bypass you and go to someone else's website if that makes sense so you want to make sure that you have your h1 tag connected and and also that will allow you to also connect it to google search console where they can index it so you can have something called a google preview everybody that sends a website link on your phone whether you have an iphone ios using whatsapp you're using it on any device even on instagram when you send the link you get to see the favicon What's a favicon? A favicon is just the image that describes the domain based on the web page that you're actually putting content for. So if it's a if it's a blog, your blog and the the size, the aspect ratio of that picture also has to be in a good size so that you can also be able to rank on the right spaces when it comes to alt text and metadata. So why why I brought this up really quickly so that you also know that metadata, which is just known for other secondary keywords that you can be able to add to your listing is what's going to help you run faster because when you search things on google you get twitter cards you get youtube stamps and those things if you look through them and you actually click through them that's why it's called click through rates when you click through them you will notice that you're getting the same result every time when you think about an ad you run an ad think about this big brands you run an ad the ad that you see is the same ad that you'll see before you make a purchase on their web page because it has to match. You have to keep that same pattern. You have to have that continual effect. So your website will be so great, just me, if we're able to get the H1 tag there and also add what you're already doing because I love the fact it says ready to ready to grow and monetize your Pinterest account. Now that H2 would, would be doing way better if it's in the H1 because in the H1, and it has keywords, the closer it is to the left, because it Google indexes about 40 words plus, I mean, it can go all the way up to about, I think 155 characters, but the closer you are to the left, the faster you're able to get indexed, because you also think about ranking. If Google can pick up your information faster and understand what it is with the images and the videos and the alt text, then you can rank faster so that people can find you, click on it, get what they need, and then have the call to action content that you can build for them. So I would love to tell you more about this just in May in our masterclass or the summit. It would be great to have the SEO implied there for you. Cool. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm really, really like trying to do everything through my website. And you know, it's, it, and WordPress is not my thing. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a problem with me here with WordPress because it's not my thing and copywriting as well is something like um, I'm still learning about that. So I, I, I even have like a, a web developer who had a chance to visit my site and she was able to mention that I the, the, um, the speed for website is good but for um, and, and some of the copy as well needs to be um, you know change I, and I don't have like a lot of CTAs on my account or on my website I think that that's one of the things as well that I need to um, check as, and um, I'm definitely gonna be checking this uh, what do you call this this um, recording because I've, I've 
I'm recording this right now, so so that I can make sure that I can go back and take notes again if I if I miss anything. No problem, no problem. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know because at the same time execution is different you can also have the information but i also believe execution also is what makes that needle move so yeah feel free to you know connect and we can be able to help you out for sure wow you guys have been amazing if you have any other questions please raise your hand because we'll be closing out the room in the next 10 minutes just the next 10 minutes because there's some few things i want to say just to let you know what's going to happen next week and also into the end of July because we're in the beginning of July and I really want to set the tone for the month. I've been building this club since March 6th of 2021 and my intention when I started this Pinterest and SEO marketing club is for exactly this. I want people to feel free to express themselves. I want people to literally have convenience so they can be able to connect with the right people just like, you know, Jeremy and Crystal have met just now, you know, you know, Suman and Crystal met yesterday, you know, so when you think about the, the quality of people that are connecting with each other based on the connections that you're building organically and also genuinely, then you're able to really set the tone for what your future is holding. So make sure that you can be able to stay connected, check, you know, just literally scroll down and see who is there in this, in this club. Some people don't really do that. Sometimes I get to do that. And also on clubhouse with SEO, when you're able to use your search to find people that you want to connect with, it really gets you the right results. If you really have the right approach. So you can be able to do that and connect with us here on the Pinterest and SEO marketing club. So yeah, just like Jessamay said to you guys, if you've just joined us, Liz, thank you for joining us right now. And Ismail, Jacqueline, Abu, Jay, Vivian, Ali, thanks so much for being here. So, so Panika, Kelly, Yash, you know, you guys are amazing for, you know, just sticking around and just listening to the conversation, taking your notes and doing what you need to do so you can be able to make your next week better. One thing I'll tell you guys out of everything that has been said today, because there have been a lot of tools that you can get in the podcast is going to be released later today. The We Don't Play podcast. What you want to know is this while you're still listening to this. When you want to drive traffic, just like there's traffic and there's a hold up, there's a jam. <laughs> you want to drive traffic to your content. And when you do that intentionally, you're going to forget about all the other alternatives that you could be doing and focus on the content that converts. And when you think about content that converts, you need to have call to action that builds engagement. You don't want to post something with no direct access, with no direct talking, with no direct response. You, don't, you want to tell them, reply to me, tell me what you think. That's a call to action. You don't have to tell them to buy. There has to be a sort of interaction that can create a result. Sometimes those results, you don't determine the results. People can decide to do it today. They might decide to do it tomorrow. They're on their own clock. They're on their own time. You need to focus on your time and focus on, can I be able to do this in ample time to make sure I can be able to do other things and support my family, support my business, support my career, support what I'm doing? Because what we're doing here is to add value and is also to, co to collaborate. Because when we collaborate together, we can do better and come back on a stage like this and talk about what we've done and see the success because all of us are doing business from different parts of the world, but we're all coming here together to make one thing known that we want to succeed. We want to be great. We want to be the people that people are looking up to. We want our kids to look at us and see that, you know, they could be better than us. They could be what we're doing. So when you think about how you're influencing your future, 2022 is not far, guys. It's not far. So if you've spent the last six months wondering what am I supposed to do with my time? What am I supposed to do with my money? What am I supposed to do with my energy? It's just going up and down like a like a pendulum and it's not it's not good because when you start doing these things intentionally and start creating content and knowing okay I have a website I need SEO I, I need content I need a strategy I need a brand you can't build a brand without having a logo you can't you, you can do that but you need something that can symbolize what you're doing you need to have that forward action what is the color what is your palette you know those are things that people don't think of and they hire people for those things but you as a visionary need to know exactly how you want that to come out and only you can determine that 
We can help you with all the tools, all the apps. We've given you a lot of apps today, bonuses on top of that. And you may leave this room today saying, yeah, I got it. And then next week, we're back here doing the same thing. I don't want that. I want us to be coming back here next week talking about what can we do next week? What can we do next month? What can we do next year? Because when we start focusing on what we need to do now, you're going to realize that over time, (laughs) it's going to get better for your business. The internet is going nowhere. So the faster you're able to optimize your content for Google, then you can start really ranking because it's not going anywhere and it's just getting better. So make sure you guys are able to tap in and make sure that you're able to understand these tools and apps to scale your business. One more time, I'm going to say this. If you have any questions, raise your hand because we'll be closing very soon. And if you don't have any questions, I'm going to close off the hand raising in the next two minutes. So guys, Thank you so much for being here. This is a Pinterest and SEO marketing club where we're able to offer you value and connect you with people that you can actually work with and work through so that you can do what you need to do with your life, with your business. Because my future here on Clubhouse is to see a lot of people win, is to see, you know, like the world is opening back up. I want to visit people and see their businesses, come and check their store, come and see, support them, you know. We want to be part of a cohesive environment that is speaking the same language because we all need each other at the end of the day. That's who we are and that's what we need to be. We need to be beacons of light for each other. And that's why we spend our time, our precious time here to be on this app and to be in this space to really connect with you and connect in a room that has been going up and up and up. So I'm definitely looking forward to connecting with you while we're about to hit a thousand members. I didn't see this coming. I'm not even focusing on that. I'm focusing on content and strategy. And I've only done about close to 50 rooms in my club right now. That's that's really low for me. I should be doing 500 rooms. So I'm going to be really going deep diving in and making sure that there's content that you guys can be able to get. So make sure you guys are able to click the link in my bio and look at all the options you have completely different options so everyone can get something everyone can get value everyone can be able to participate and be part of it we have a premium podcast as well where you're able to get all the videos all the ask me questions all the premium podcasts that are not put out on the bigger podcast like this is going to the 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 public podcast but there are some episodes that are never going to reach the public podcast there because they're for premium and the video as well as on the premium if you want to get the 70 percent off till monday it's available for you the pinterest course is right there if you want to be part of our marketing summit or marketing seo pinterest and marketing seo summit and the masterclass please make sure you guys are able to tap in because these are two things that you could get confused by but by the time you realize that you're going into a space that is going to help you get better think about it this way you're going like into an incubator for example you're going in you have no idea what's going to happen and then the moment you get out you realize that, oh, now I, there's something I need to do. There's something I, I have within me. There's some things that I didn't know. And when you don't know something, you don't know that thing. There's some people that didn't know about any of these apps today. None of them. Probably some knew all. Oh, cool. But these are things that we know today. We're going to know tomorrow. We keep learning. I'm a student as well. So when you think about it, and I, I'm so excited you know, to hear about, you know, education going to its top because you also want to work with people that are also educated and experienced so that you can be able to to build your life build your style and that's why i've really gone deep into this so make sure you're able to tap in it's not just about what we're talking about here it's about how you apply these things and the reason why we're off clubhouse is to make sure that we we hold your hands and make sure that you do what you need to do fix those things that you need to fix build those relationships because you want to build a mailing list You want to build things organically. You don't have a pop-up on your website. You have one. Does it lead you somewhere? Where does it go? Is there a call to action? There are so many steps that you need to take. But when you take the first step, every other step gets easier. It's only when you don't take that first step that things get hard. And you start doubting yourself. And you start wondering, where can I do this? Where can I go? And it's not healthy because we don't have time. We're on borrowed time. You know, God put us on this earth to to connect with each other, to love each other, to build with each other, and to love each other. So when we're doing this wholeheartedly, we're doing this with the fact of knowing that we could help someone's family tomorrow, we could help someone's future tomorrow. So this is something that we're doing cohesively, and it's not just me. So I wouldn't be here on this stage. I wouldn't have started this club. I wouldn't have started this room if I knew that 
yeah, I was just not going to show up. I'm not going to do that. Every time on this app, I spent about 40 hours, if not more, in about 10 days. I looked at my screen time one day. I was like, damn, I'm on Clubhouse a lot. So when you think about the time I'm spending on and off, it, it really shows that when I'm coming back on here, I'm really here to connect with you because sometimes I may never get a chance to speak to you guys again. I may see you in other rooms. I may see you on other stages, but I may never connect with you. And sometimes that's fine. But when the right time comes, we get to connect and something like this happens. That's when you realize that, oh, yeah, I need to be here. This is the right thing I'm doing. I'm doing the right thing at the right time in the right place. So you guys make sure you're able to tap in into anything that we've said and ask your questions. With that said, I'm going to close off the hand raising since no one has raised their hand. And I'm going to give a chance to Jeremy, Crystal, Jessamine, and Suman to just let people know what you guys got going on. If you have anything you want to say, please feel free. The mic is yours. And we're just going to go from the top to bottom and I'll, I'll come back to me. Here you guys go. Well, I can jump in if Jeremy's busy. Um, my name is Crystal Wydell. Um, I am a Pinterest strategist for uh, product sellers, primarily e-commerce, uh, Shopify business owners. And um, my superpower is connecting Pinterest and Shopify and showing you how to just explode the traffic um, coming to your website because that's what we're all looking for, right, is more traffic. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to reach out. I'm working on an ebook right now because like I said, I help primarily Shopify owners, but I know we all need some help. So I'm working on you know, creating a little workbook for everybody um, and I will have that shortly. So please follow me, uh, shoot me a DM if you want that when it's ready. And thanks so much, Faber, always a pleasure being here with you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Jessime? Yes. Um, thank you so much, everyone, especially Faber. Thank you so much for inviting me to come up here. And um, hello, everyone. I'm just, I'm also a Pinterest manager, but I do love supporting food bloggers. So I kind of love the, the food recipes and such. And I also help them drive traffic to their site. It's it's all about the, the, the Pinterest thing and but i'm not i can say that i'm not an expert yet that's why i'm here i'm learning from favor from crystal and from suman everything that i want to know and i wanted to be an expert as well on pinterest so if you wanted also to like join me in my journey you can also check out my my instagram and that's been your blog thank you so much you're most welcome I just PTR'd. Suman, back to you. Thank you, Faye. Well, <clears throat> hi everyone. This is Suman Jane. I'm a Pinterest marketing strategist. And I be mainly focus on digital product creators, uh, helping them to focus on identifying the objective on Pinterest and at the same time, help, helping them to not only focus on driving traffic, but also generating leads and sales with a strategy on Pinterest. So if you're looking up to learn and if you are looking up to apply the strategies and get results, because I'm also coming up with um, definitely a workbook as well as uh, ebook on Pinterest for especially for digital product creators where we definitely focus on uh, creating a beautiful, attractive pins and at the same time focusing on uh, getting molded. So if you are resonating with me, just check, just check out my profile on Clubhouse. There are various rooms which I'm hosting for coming week. Thank you so much. Over to you, Favor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Jeremy, are you there? Okay, probably. He's, he's probably busy doing something. Okay, no problem. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys and the level of support that you've been, you know, showing by showing up. That's that's that in itself is is supporting enough and I really appreciate that cuz you could be anywhere else today and I really appreciate you guys for your time. I'm looking forward to connecting with you all over the weekend, over next week. We're going to be having some rooms I'm going to be scheduling for next week. Those rooms are going to be very short. They're not going to be an hour, 15 minutes, because we've had about that this today. We've had about 83 people come into the room today with an average listen time of 14. So I'm so glad that we were able to really connect the dots. You know, it could go up or down, but I know that 
someone actually took some notes and took some some actions and we can be able to talk about that next so click the link in my bio check my clubhouse profile read everything that that interests you and make sure that you're able to follow through with the call to action so that you can find more about what we're doing next week they're gonna we're gonna have small rooms next week power rooms maybe 30 minutes it's gonna be very quick and i've not done an exclusive club only room and that's going to start happening very soon so it's going to be very interesting how we're going to do that but that's going to be talked about later so if you want to know more about this if you just joined make sure that in the next hour you sub- or even right now subscribe to the we don't play podcast available on all 14 podcast platforms available to you or you can just type in work and play entertainment on google and you can find our podcast link there and then when you do that make sure you're able to subscribe tap in because the next hour at 12 p.m. Eastern, it's going to be live and you guys can be able to listen to this podcast, listen to this episode and learn more about how you can be able to be part of our amazing community. Thank you guys so much. God bless you all. Have a wonderful holiday. Take care and I'm see you guys and catch y'all in the clubhouse streets. Peace out. Bye. All right, guys, we out. We are definitely out. So thank you so much for being here club is done <laughs> yeah join the pinterest and seo marketing club and check out the summit check out the masterclass. sign up make sure that you're able to tap in know when the deadline is and we're gonna catch you on that side so have a wonderful day take care and peace out